Hey everyone, it's Julian from Digital Trends and I'm here with Harris from the Google team and we're talking about Volvo and how Android integrates with this car. And that's not Android Auto, it's actually Android, the operating system. So let's take a look. Cool, thanks. So um, what we have here is Volvo V90 cross country. And uh, as we can see, this interface here is actually rendering Android OS, but it has been skinned and created by Volvo to kind of make it fit into the car. So a couple of different things we can demonstrate quickly is uh, one of the things is you can control the air conditioning directly from the app that was created on Android OS and Android is actually managing the air conditioning, in this case, turning it on and off. Um, in a few seconds it should turn off, there we go. So other things that we also have is navigation. So navigation in this instance, you can have access to Google Maps, which is a favorite on the phones from a lot of people. Reason why this is nice is you can access to things, for example, such as home, work, and things that you would normally find on your phone as well. Easy to navigate, you don't have to enter anything. Quick question about yes. that. For maps, if I search like a place to go to, like uh, a restaurant, yeah. can I see hours and stuff like that as yeah. well here? So, yeah, it's like, I mean, if you were to, for example, and we'll, I will randomly pick a place at this point, I don't know, um, What's, I don't know, like, and I think this one might have a oh, opening okay. hour. So you get the ratings, you get the price, you get one till they open, and it also tell you, do you really want to navigate there if it's closed? How so. do you search if you needed to? Is that through a system? So as of right now, we do it through a system, but okay. in the future, we're always looking how to bring it in a safe way, keyboard and other things as well. So. Okay. Um, the second thing is obviously third-party applications. In this case, we have Spotify, Pocket Cast, Pandora, Audible. They have to do very little, integrate two APIs, and what you get is a full integration into the car, such as this one. As we can see, it works through your speakers, you can pause it, you can play it, you can also control it via your steering wheel buttons, the volume, or any other buttons that might exist in any time. As you can see, this is purely Android <laughs> status bar, so <laughs> this is, yeah. So the next one is the phone. Again, this is the part that is connected to your phone because we're using obviously your normal phone through Bluetooth connected. Uh, one of the more cooler things we can demonstrate is how this works with a home automation and in the car through a system because if you're driving, you wanna focus on the road. Okay. So for example, if you wanted to control things in your house, you can simply say, okay, Google, and maybe it works. Okay, Google, there we go. Can you turn on the lights in my living room to blue? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Ah, let's try this again. Turn the lights in the living room to blue. Sure, changing there two right. lights to blue. And they slowly turn. So, so the light on the left there? Yeah, both of them, yeah. So. And, and so you, this doesn't necessarily, the, uh, the car has a data, so yes, you don't this need is to a be. Data. And there's a reason we're having a little bit of connectivity issues, actually. Right. <laughs> so you can actually do here. this when you're like driving home, yes, exactly. turn on your lights this and is, stuff. I mean, a, a lot of people want to do that. We can check the locks or you can say, what's the temperature in my house? Uh, so what's the temperature in my living room? Heating is set to 75 on the living room with a current temperature of 71. It's getting really hot in the dome because it's capturing what it is. And so. that works through the nest. Yeah, that you so have the there. nest over there, if we gotcha. wanted to say, set the temperature in my living room to 65 degrees. Okay, setting the living room to so 65 you can degrees. See it turns on and wow. actually starts okay. doing that. I mean, another thing that we want is a system is a kind of continuous thing is also to work in your car. So you can do things such as make it cooler in the car. Okay, turning the air conditioning on. So we can see that in a few seconds, the air conditioning is going to turn on and it's actually going to start doing that. Or you can also say things like, make it warmer in the car. No. Okay, Let's... turning the air conditioning <laughs> off. So there's a lot of things that we can do. Uh, but the idea is like while you're driving, you might want to use a system to actually do a lot of the controls and make things actually function without having to necessarily focus on the screen at the moment. So what other controls can you do car based? Uh, like? In general, we can do a lot of things today. We're only demoing HVAC purely because of the demo purposes. The okay. car is not on. So right. there's limitations and safety concerns that we have. So. Okay. <laughs> cool. But you would theoretically be able to like turn on the wipers? Uh, so like, I mean, this is kind of the discussions that we're having with partners. What is, where, how far do we want to go and where the safety criticals are on and on? Like okay. the reality is our goal is we can actually do a lot of stuff. It is purely what makes sense. Okay. So, and you know, the way we want to do is want to make it natural language. Like what you saw there, I wasn't saying like set the temperature for 25. A lot of people want to make it cooler. They want to make it warmer. And if you think about different people sitting in different seats, we might also know where the person is talking from and we can know that it's for them. So if you have heated seats, you might say, well, this person wants to be warm. Maybe we shouldn't turn the air conditioning for the whole car, but we can only turn on the, basically the seat for that person and okay. make it warmer for them. 
which is much different than the way you have it function today. So. Right. And so this is available for this Volvo car at later this year or? Uh, you can talk to Volvo, but like our goal is to bring it to the market with Volvo whenever the Volvo decides. Any other manufacturers? Uh, so this week we've announced with Volvo and Audi. Okay. Um, so. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Thanks for yeah. the demo. Thank you.